Lions TV, this is the Den Daily bringing you all the latest gossip, views and transfer news from in and around the Den. Today, Richard Cowley, London News Online, went with a story that Millwall are interested in signing Crystal Palace's 20-year-old winger, Jess Rack Saki, on loan in January. He's currently actually on loan at Charlton. We're going to get into that in a minute. First and foremost, I want to start off by saying that one... I think it's refreshing that once again we're going after young talent. Two, we seem to be, in my opinion, looking to fill the areas of the pitch that we need improving on. And three, we're getting our business done early again, or we're, we're trying to at least. We're quite famously known for you know leaving things late and waiting until deadline day and signing people like Shea Ojo. So it does seem that, I say, we're trying to get things done in the right areas and we're trying to get things done early. And once again, we seem to have, since I think really since Alex Aldridge come back to the club, our, our um, recruitment seems to have stepped up a notch. I'm talking, of course, about the signing of Bermondsey Burkamp, Zian Fleming, greatest club record signing for us ever. That wasn't hard to top. Uh, he seems to be going on to levels already that we wasn't expecting him to, and he's already attracting interest from other clubs in January. Let's hope I'm not doing a video about that soon. Of course, we recently signed Aidamo Amaku from Shamrock Rovers. He will be eligible to play from January. A similar type of player, I think, to the guy we're after, Saki from Crystal Palace. Um, Amaku is a permanent sign-in. The problem with Saki is, again, it's a loan. He started his career at Crystal Palace, well, actually Chelsea's youth academy, came through the ranks there, and he's played two times for the Eagles before being sent out on loan to Cholton. I looked into it today on socials, and a lot of Cholton fans, you know, he scored five goals in 21 games in a struggling side. It's a good return. It gives me great pleasure to say a struggling side as well. It's always a nice in on a cake when it comes to the anoraks up the road. But look, getting back to the player, I think, you know, alone, I sometimes don't like that because with Creswell, I think, and even Shackleton, I know he's a bit older, but I always say give our players the chance in that area. You know, we, we, we don't really need, for example, Charlie Creswell because we've already got Alex Mitchell. We've already got Hayden Muller. Um, and do we have the areas in our youth system to do what Saki could come in and do. Well, yeah, we have. Of course, you had Romain Essay recently made his debut. He's at the under-18s uh, against Bromby at the Den and, and made an impressive debut. You've also got Abdul Abdul Malik. You've also got Nana Boateng and Seb Drods, who can all play in those areas. I like Boateng. Abdul Malik, not so much. He stepped it up a bit this year. Um, but I like Drods out of all them, really. And, and the reason why, we only signed him, I think, maybe one year, two years ago now. The other seems to have been around the club for a long time. And as you know, I'm a strong believer in, if you can't break into the first team, you know, by the time you're 21, you shouldn't really be in and around it. You know, maybe drop down a level, get into the first team and work your way back up. And what I like about Drodds is, he is very raw. He's not been around it long. He doesn't always get into the start of 11, really, with the 21s. But I'm really impressed with him every time I've seen him. Now, Rowett, as, had, as we know, Romain Essie, as I said, had his debut against Bromby. Um, Boateng's played against Crystal Palace, funny enough. Come on as a late substitute in the FA Cup defeat. And Abdul Malik is, is, is a strange one, full stop at the club. I said he's scoring a lot of goals. We had that big uh, hoo ha with him a lot, uh, last season in the summer. We didn't know where he was going to come, where he was going to go. He turned down a contract and came back. So maybe Rowett doesn't feel we've got the players for that position. Um, with Creswell, we've been told we absolutely can't sign him, and, and I've got no issues with that. Make no mistake. So I've got no issues with getting loans in as long as they're potentially players we could sign for the future. As I know, and as we all know, as I said, you know, we have clearly got problems in this area due to the um, structure change and the uh, formation that we play. Honeyman and Volsam are trying to do jobs in those positions, both out of position. And Bury and Bennett both have issues with uh, consistency and fitness. So, as I said, I looked on socials this morning, getting back to the player. Cholton fans were saying, let's be realistic. He's been brilliant for us and, and we never expected him to stay beyond January. There will be championship clubs sniffing about. So he's only just turned 20. He's from Southwark as well. And I think he'll probably feature long-term in Crystal Palace's um, plans. I don't know that for a fact. I'm just reading between the lines. So could be a good signing for us. I think he's a very similar player to Amaku. And I think you'll see them, you know, excite, especially trying to feed Tom Bradshaw the chances in the box. I was going to say uh, Ben Ekophobia as well. But fuck knows what's happened to that guy. But anyway, look, getting back to the player. Unfortunately... Reading between the lines, I don't think we possibly could sign him long-term on a permanent deal. But would it be good to have around the club? Well, we do need to fill those positions. And with Rowett not having to trust in Abdul Malik, Boateng, Trods, and any others, um, 
bit of a shame for SA, but you know, his time may come. He's only a year older, Saki, so, or just two. So, you know, time will tell, time will tell, but I'm excited to see it. If we was told you could sign him permanently again after that, again, like we were told with Shackleton, but we probably don't want to, then it would it'd excite me a little bit more. But Charlton fans said he's flying, a lot of championship clubs interested, and the news today from Richard Cowley online is that Mill are interested in signing Crystal Palace's winger, Jess Rack Saki. You may have noticed, no intro, no outro, no logos, no overlay, and I've had to get through that in one take, and believe me, it wasn't one take, it took me about two or three. So um, my laptop's broken. I will try and get it fixed this week. But it's just been me. Peace the camera. I hope you've enjoyed it. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. We are playing a week today, which will be Boxing Day. Watford away. Shame Luton got called off. Uh, it's, this thing's very stop-start at the minute, especially with the videos as well. But I'm going to try and rectify that and get out another Lions Lounge lockdown. I'm only, I'm only going after big fish this day, these, uh, in this day and age. So in this day and age, I'm only going after big fish these days. As you know, Sean Dyche and Kenny Jacket most recently. But yeah, I'm going to go after some more big fish and hopefully I'll get a Lions Lounge confirmed for you this week. But failing that, I'll be back for a preview for what for the way on Boxing Day. Probably on Friday. Yeah, Christmas Day will be Sunday, will it? Who knows? I'm babbling. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.